before it's too late. The wart biter got its name uh, literally because it was used for, for actually biting people's warts off. It was used during the 1700s in, um, uh, in, in Sweden especially. A strange thing to do with an insect. Um, and when they first arrived here, um, you know, we were intrigued to know, you know how accurate a name this was. So um, we chose a guinea pig that just happened to be me um, because I was the only one with a convenient wart. Um, and uh, you know, got the animal out and let it run up the hand. And as I say, it, it homed in on, on the wart very uh, specifically. Um, and, and within seconds, the, the, the sort of bolt cutter like jaws were chomping away. Uh, and, and it had removed it uh, um, relatively painlessly. Uh, but the only problem at that point was that uh, it, it then vomited up into the wound uh, a, a rather unpleasant yellow liquid that. that, that, that uh, uh, really caused quite an indescribable pain and the finger all swelled up, swelled up and everything. Uh, and it really was uh, uh, quite, quite unpleasant. Uh, uh, the, the rather sad side of it all, of course, is that uh, the water, what's still there, it hasn't gone away. Uh, not a very effective cure, it seems. The wart biter, um, it's, it's one of Britain's uh, rarest bush crickets. Um, we have very few uh, in, endemic species and the wart biter uh, is one of ours. Um, it's been over here now for uh, more than 10,000 years. Um, and in the past, it used to be really quite uh, common in the south of the country. Um, but as we've changed our farming techniques, uh, it's become much more intensive. Their range has shrunk um, to a very, very small area. Uh, so these rather beautiful green crickets have, have almost been wiped out now. Um, I say probably less than uh, 150 wart biters left in the wild at the moment. Um, they're absolutely on the edge of extinction here almost too long. We've spent so much time worrying about our charismatic species that we've really neglected literally hundreds, probably thousands of species that are less charismatic, less obvious, and certainly not considered as attractive.